Hey there, friends. Thanks for checking in. Here's my Glock 21 Gen 4 in excellent condition. I've had it for about three years now. I put a good amount of rounds through it throughout that time, and I never recall any failures ever. So it's definitely a reliable gun. Full size 45 ACP with mags that hold 13 rounds, 4.6 inch barrel. It does have the big dot night sights on there. Standard Glock trigger. And it's been great. Many people call this one of the best 45 ACP striker fire handguns that you can get out there. And I've certainly enjoyed it. But I'm going to go ahead and let it go in a trade. Because there is an offer out there that I am very much interested in. It's in 45 ACP. And the gentleman I'm trading with really wants a Glock 21. So it's a good deal all around. And I'm, I'm happy about that. That's how I prefer to trade handguns where both parties leave very satisfied. So I'm going to go ahead and hit the range and I will show you what I traded this Glock 21 for and you can let me know what you think. First shots, let's see how it goes. All right, not too bad. I shot a little bit low. But what I traded for is an HK-45. Full size handgun that is very well respected. A lot of people love the HK-45. HK themselves said that this was an improved or this was made to be an improved model over the USP that was produced in the mid 90s. It's a variant one which is different because it's double action, single action. That's different than the P30 and the P2000 models in which a variant one would be an LEM, pretty much a single action, kind of feels like a striker fire handgun in a way. But the HK45, this is a full size. It also comes in a compact model. This has a 4.5 inch barrel. It does have the trigger guard release, magazine release that is ambidextrous and ambidextrous slide stop on both sides it has the decocker thumb safety right here just decock that or you can carry it cocked and locked that will lock up the trigger and not the slide the slide will still charge with that but it does have front serrations three dot luminous luminescent sights a very nice grip hk does a very nice job with the ergos and two 10 round magazines and then very consistent with hk the extractor sticks out a little bit as a loaded chamber indicator and it is red full pick rail right there the hk 45 very nice handgun i need to raise my front sight just a hair to get a little bit a more precise shot but I'm happy to have this trade, and the gentleman I traded with was pretty happy too. Now, a full disclosure, it wasn't an even trade for the Glock 21 for this. This has an MSRP of $849. It's currently selling closer to $1,000, $1,100. At least that's what I'm seeing in today's market. I also threw in a Remington RM380 executive model, and, and that worked out for me because I have two of them, and he said he wanted a pocket 380 anyways. So I gave up the Glock 21 and a Remington RM380 for the HK45. And I'm pretty happy. And the gentleman I traded with, he seems pretty happy with it. So I think it's a fair deal all around. And that really is how I prefer to make my trades. Now, I will mention, I have never purchased an HK. I have, this is the fifth HK that I have owned throughout the years. And I acquired each and every one of them through a trade because HKs are outrageously expensive. <laughs> they, they really are. And so every single HK I've ever gotten was from a trade. And you know, that's just how I'm going to get them until they drop their price a little bit. But here it is. Let me go ahead and load it up again. I'll turn the camera around. And then eventually I plan to do a table review on this handgun and we'll see. I think it gets high marks in the gun world. I'll go ahead and load it up and we can check out the recoil because HK says they have a reducing recoil system and I found that to be true with many of the other HK handguns that I've owned. I've got 10 rounds loaded up. Here we go. All 
All right, shot a little, a little better that time. If you can see my target, a little, a little low left. Not too crazy about low left. I hate low left. All right, sometimes that's anticipating the shot and bracing your hands and all that. But HK45 full size. I'm going to do a table review. It's certainly a nice handgun. One of the things that makes it a little bit different than the P30 models is that the side panels are fixed. Although it comes with two back straps, the side panels are fixed. You can't interchange the grip panels, which is fine by me. This feels really nice. Full size handgun that is considered a quality handgun. I know it is and pretty happy to have it. And I'm glad that both parties are happy with this trade deal. If you like videos like this, please subscribe and share. I always appreciate thumbs up button. Thanks for watching and you guys be safe.